Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this video, I want to take just a moment and talk about testing your funnels once you get them up and, and start working with them. Here I am just inside of a regular site. And if you're in here and you just make a few minor changes to whatever elements or sections or whatever within this page, obviously the easiest way to test to see what it looks like is just to click on the preview button and it'll pop up and show you what your page will look like. But as you see up here with this URL, it's kind of a kind of a funky URL. It really should only be used for preview purposes. But what if you start getting into membership sites and you start putting in your payment integrations and your products and things like that? Let me show you how you should test those kinds of pages. So the first thing you can do, we'll just stay on this page we're in, just come over here to the right, right next to where the page URL is, right click and I'm in Chrome. So it says open link in incognito window and you will see your page right here. Next thing, let's take a look at if we are in an order form and this order form has a Stripe product in it. And anytime you're dealing with any payment gateway product, whether it be Stripe or PayPal version two or any of the other ones, you want to first come into settings. You want to scroll down and you want to make sure that your test mode is turned on and this one it is turned on. So now we want to go back up to the step and we can just click on our steps up here. We could click on the step to the left. And again, we want to right click and open the link incognito. Now you'll see at the top there is a credit card number. You can just copy that out. Just copy that, put that in here. We'll put in any CVC number, pick a date out into the future. And most importantly, and I've made this mistake enough times, when you're building out any kind of order form, make sure you put in an email address input or else when you click submit, it won't save. So let's just put in an email address. And now we can click on save. We'll have tested our product and it will put us on to the next page, which yes, this is the next page. Normally you would take them to a thank you page or confirmation page or something else. This just happens to be the next page in the funnel. Now, if we go to a membership area and you click on open an editor and then you go to preview, a lot of times that will give you a 500 error page. And so we don't want to do that. So the best way to really test a membership area is just to copy out your login URL. We're going to go up, we're going to open up an incognito window and we're going to paste in that URL and you'll get your membership login page. Just put in your email and password and log into your account. And the same thing goes with your secret signup URL. We will copy that. We will go in. Let's just open up a new tab in here, press enter. And this will give you the form so that new members can come in and register and create a new account inside of your membership area. So here we got the email password and confirm your password. Whereas in the other version, we just have the email and password because you're logging in here and here you are creating your account. So that right there, a couple of ways that you want to be able to use and test click funnels just to be able to avoid a lot of problems, a lot of error pages and other difficulties in getting your content set up. So if you have any questions on that, reach out to ClickFunnels support and have a great day.